here we go. Still never gets old. Driving down the western side of Disney property. A little bit of, um, I don't know, um, an interesting uh, dichotomy going on today. We're driving into this very family-oriented place, the most magical place on earth, because we're on our way to Disney Springs and the ANC Dine-In Theater to see what Variety is calling the year's goriest movie. <laughs> a family-friendly film, not family-friendly at all, actually, called In a Violent Nature. It's basically about a, a homicidal maniac in the woods that just, you know, destroys people, I think. I think that's basically the rest of it. It's supposed to be a slasher film, right? Yeah, so naturally one of the only places in Orlando showing this gore festival slasher film is the family-friendly environment at Disney Springs. So <laughs> that's where we're headed to. Usually we see movies in um, Hamlin, uh, just north of Disney property, or we have the studio movie girl over by um, Margaritaville because we're big fans of the Tuesday night $5 specials. We do most of our movies on Tuesday nights for, well, it's actually $6 now with the service charge right over. Well, I think it's 6 bucks, and then there's also service charge on top of it. So yeah. it always ends up being like 18 bucks for, for the two, two of us, us yeah. which isn't so bad. But I think today's movie at AMC was like... By the way, here's Beautiful Wife. Hi, I'm driving. Um, there's Super Mickey. So... I uh, I think today's movie was like a matinee and it was like almost 30 bucks or something, but it's totally worth it because it's the only place that was showing it in Orlando that I I saw. Well, right? I'm going to be in a violent nature if the movie's not good for $30, <laughs> so. Let's I think get, it'll be great. Let's get over there and see what the parking lot's like. Hmm. All right, here we go. Ooh, look at that. Uh, Orange Garage. Um, let's see how the crowds are. This is usually like a barometer. Oh, looking good. Many hundreds of spots on every level. It's a nice change of pace from the drone show. <laughs> um, and the nice thing about coming into the Orange Garage is you can park. Well, frankly, you can park right next to either entrance of AMC Theaters, which kind of straddles two ends of the Orange Garage. So we're doing our little trick where we come in on the third level or the fourth level. What level are we on, Amber? We're on the third and we always go down to the second. Yeah, because that's where the security is, and it just makes life easier. And believe it or not, we usually get a spot right up front. So let's see where trick works today. Well, our maneuver worked because there's security. And here's our parking spot. <laughs> so you can't get much better than that, folks. Always be greedy when looking for a parking spot at Dizzy Spring. It usually pays off. Well, we're coming up on Raglan's on our way to Gideon's because there's a brand new cookie that Amber's going to get. See if we can get a spot in line for it, but look at this. That's um, usually where the gift shop is, and I don't know if they're going to keep it, but Amber is saying they're expanding their outdoor patio space. So that'll be pretty cool. Raglan Road is one of our favorites. We love this place. It's a little pricey, but you get the entertainment, and the food is pretty darn good. So what do you think, Amber? I think the line at, at uh, Gideon's doesn't look too bad. I don't know if that's just people being like virtually called back or let's see if there's a virtual queue line. Let's go find out. So here's what they're putting in. They're putting in an outdoor bar. This will be a hard seat to get, but we'll certainly try and bring that to you when this is done. I'm excited. This is great. Oh, it says it's a walk-up bar. It says walk-up bar logo. Walk-up bar with seats. Oh, you got to look at the like, walk-up bar logo. I yeah, love it. so I, because I was pretty sure that I read it somewhere that they said they were just adding additional patio seating. This yeah, is awesome. Technically, is patio seating. That's awesome. Right on. Slanche. Oh, I have to say, I'm, 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 we're standing right in front of Homecoming. Amber, we haven't been to Homecoming in a minute. We're gonna have to go to Homecoming, yeah. and we'll show you guys what we love. But we're going, we're, um, we're attempting something we haven't done ever. We're doing a dry month. No oh, yeah. <laughs> alcohol. Now well, it's technically not an, okay, so it is an entire month. It's from May 29th to June 29th, which is our check-in day at Yacht Club. Yeah, so, I'm drinking on vacation. Um, we will be drinking <laughs> at the very end of June, but um, we decided to just take a break. Yeah, so I I don't think we'll be rushing back to homecoming until that, that, that band is listening. Yeah, because that, we really love the bar in there too. But enough of that, I'm at homecoming, so um, no virtual queue, just a standby line at Gideon's. Yeah, so the 
a Gideon's cast member, I guess. Uh, yeah. They had mentioned that it would be a standby line all day. So we have a movie to catch. He said it was about a 25 minute standby. We Our movie's in about 25 minutes, so we're gonna go watch the movie, maybe pop over here. Um, we wanted to try the new butterscotch cookie that is for June. I don't think we've ever, I think they've had it a couple of Junes yeah. in a row now, but we've never had it and it looks fantastic. They also have like a butterscotch cream uh, cake. They that also have the butterscotch um, cold brew that looks really good. There's a bunch of things. So I'm excited to try at least, may, probably just the cookie, but Me too. yeah. All right, let's go check out this movie. Yep. Oh, here we go. We found it. Screen number four. Not exactly an IMAX screen, but this will definitely do. Dear Lord, it's packed. Uh, E4 and 5, Amber. Hmm. <laughs> Take your pick. Um, the other day we saw The Fall Guy, and we were the only people in the theater. Let's see if history repeats itself. What do you think of this theater, Amber? In, These seats are plush. It's hard to see it in the, with the low light. Yeah, but it's all right. Lovely. We'll do a quick review after this, but uh, I think Gory is going to be in our descriptive words. So here's uh, here's what we saw. As you can clearly see, I think you know it's in the mold of like Winnie the Pooh, Chip and Dale, <laughs> Mickey Mouse. Um, that was brutal. It was brutal. That was very graphic. <laughs> Apparently there's a scene that was too gory for, and there's some gory, and here's a scene with a with a firewood chipper, not a chipper, like what a cutter. What is it? It's a cutter? Yeah, yeah, like a like a log cutter, maybe? Yeah. But basically most of the movie is just, you're following this, this guy, and he is just slaying people who, most of them are just idiots. I mean, I, okay, so my take on it is they're less like idiots than most horror movies yeah. so I, I like uh, i mean the dialogue sucks no the, music like, no music in the entire yeah movie. there it is it's very indie yeah it's very indie it's a different take though like i enjoyed it like it's not it's not a, it's not I enjoyed a jason it. movie no like, it's, it's different and most of the movie is following the killer like five feet from behind that's how most of the movie's shot so yeah you're seeing it from his point of view which which i actually enjoyed uh, <laughs> I'm just reading the uh, quote above uh, the gnarliest kills I've ever seen. Yeah, I agree with that. They're, Some of yeah, the gnarliest kills I've ever yeah, seen. Yeah, Piranha 3D's yeah. Piranha 3D is up yeah, there too. Yeah, though. yeah, yeah. Um, so, like, if you're a fan of horror movies, you should see it. Yeah. I, uh, I liked it. I thought it was good. 30 minutes of trailers, though. Oh, my AMC, gosh. Come on. <laughs> but I will say, I should, we should have taken footage of it. There's a Dolby screen in here that's really large. And apparently, it's one of the finest screens in Orlando. Yeah is isn't saying that much. We've been to the kind of all the IMAX theaters around here and they're so mediocre I, maybe. I did a bunch of research on the IMAX thing and I think what I found was that they said in the entire state of Florida the only a truly IMAX theater is in Fort Lauderdale. So Florida that kind of explains name. why we don't there you go. enjoy any of our theaters. Cause but I do, I've heard these Dolby certified it's not an IMAX, obviously. No. But I've heard they're very good. And yeah. there's one there is one here. Yeah, and I'm in on that. And they're showing Furiosa, I would do which that. by the way, Furiosa was amazing. Which is also right here. Yeah, look. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Furiosa. Yes. 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 And it's great. Also very good. Alright, so what are we doing now? I don't know. Let's go find out. Let's go find, this might be like a two like the whole weekend kind of We'll video. see. Yeah, we'll find out. So Amber pointed this out. They've got I guess it's only here for a few days, but they've got the the phone booth from Doctor Who, which is like the hardest, right? I we don't watch Doctor Who, so. Huh. Uh, what season is this on? Three hundred. Three hundred. There's a lot of Doctor Who. I think that's why I haven't started it because I like I think we're pretty nerdy, but like we're, I truly am a completist. So and then we knowing need to the that there's so many of them is kind of Intimidating. overwhelming to me. So. But if you're so inclined, this is here. <laughs> yep. I think it's only here for like a few days. I think it's through like June 2nd. Oh no. So I think that's tomorrow. <laughs> then by the time you're watching this, just know that it was here. <laughs> by the way, happy first day of Pride Month. They've got this when they're just when you're coming down the stairs of the garage. It's a pretty 
pretty cute photo op. It's a nice touch. And the clothing, we've already showed the clothing in some of the other um, videos. But I think it's pretty good so far. So we decided to come home and take Malda for a walk. She loves her walks. Um, and then I think we're going to go grab some Dindins at Humagoos. Humagoos, baby. Yeah. We love that place. We do. It's fantastic. It's over around. Um, in Horizon West, right? Where's it is? It's, it's not a, in Hamlin, though. It's uh, so it's like over by Sidell. It's over the near beer project. It's on Sidell, right? Yeah. And it's the I think they call it the Mark. So yeah, it's called the Mark. The New York Beer Project is there, which we went to. Sure, and there's I'll put like a link a, to that in, in in the description. Yeah, there's also like a Seven Eleven there, a Walgreens, a couple of other. It's a handy it's little like a Starbucks. Yeah. 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 We live in a neighborhood where, like, if there's a new shopping center or a new, frankly, a new shop inside shopping center, it's pretty big freaking news around here. It is. <laughs> <laughs> so I think uh, we're going to get the baby back home and yeah. uh, grab our wallet and... Yeah, we're taking the kid. Wipe off her paws and, yeah, she's going to go on a ride with us. Hell yeah. Yeah. We'll see you in a bit. Good, good, good morning. I need the action and we need an action. We're not, we're not directors, are we? We're not, we're not filmmakers yet. Um, day two, right? I think this, this video is becoming, Amber, we were talking about this. We're, by the way, good morning. Good morning. The Coronado Hotel, Grand Casino Tower in the background. We decided to come over here, uh, basically to take a little stroll and grab a little uh, muffin at the, uh, the Rick's Quick Cafe. Uh, mainly to take a walk though, because this is helping with Amber's training. Um, yeah, so we're in day two. I think this video, we were saying, what's the direction? So I think this is just a good insight. Like, what a typical weekend of living next to Disney World is like. Because there's no general direction. It's almost like a Seinfeld episode. This is the episode about nothing. And I'm fine with that. Because you're getting a glimpse into what life in Orlando is actually like. This is real. This is unscripted. Um, so Hugh Me Goose was great last night. We watched the Movie Pass documentary on Netflix, which I thought was fascinating. Rest in peace, Movie Pass. Um, Amber and I had Cinemia. It was the competitor to MoviePass, but it was basically the same thing. That's out of business too, because it was in a sustainable model. Um, today, we're doing this. We're gonna walk. We're gonna go to Target, our smallest Target in the world. Pick up some groceries. Hard boil some eggs. Super exciting stuff. And then I think probably maybe head over to Typhoon Lagoon. There's been a lot of probably maybe activities in this video. The reason we didn't get to Gideon's was because um, we just didn't feel like going after the movie yesterday, to be honest with you. And we thought the cookie we wanted would be sold out. It was five o'clock by the time we got out of the movie. So we just kind of abandoned that. And it's there all month, so maybe we'll try for it next weekend. Again, this is the joy of living here. You can make these decisions on the fly and it's not a big deal. And you can just be spontaneous. And that's why I, for one, living in Orlando. There she is. I always make the mistake of calling it Grand, is it Grand Casino Tower? It's Justino Tower. I know it's for sure Justino Tower. Well, I think it's grand. Therefore, I'm going to call you the Justino Grande Tower. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're here. This is the, the loop we're doing. And we showed this in our review of the Coronado Hotel. We did a great staycation here. I'll put that video in the description. But just to give you an idea, this whole area. It is the grand. Oh, Grand Justino. Look at that. <laughs> grand Justino <laughs> Tower. <laughs> Next to the El Cantro and the dining. I think that's the El Centro and the dining and the convention center and the dick site. Sometimes it's just fun to be phonetic. Um, but this whole resort, including the Grand Destino, is the size, I think we looked it up last time, is the size of the Magic Kingdom. Uh, so pretty, it's pretty darn big and it's, so it's a pretty good place to do a walk. And we just love it. It's so peaceful here. And look at this. Ah, peaceful. And Grand. That's the main pool over there, Grand Destino, and uh, some hammocks over here, which I've only seen these fully occupied one time, uh, but right now would be a beautiful time to do it. We're tempted, but we gotta go get our exercise on. Uh, God best Florida. We're here in the, uh, the world's smallest Target by the college program, and they're selling 4th of July fireworks. You won't find that in California. By the way, this is the entirety. That's it. That's the store. No full carts here. 
it's like more of the European style. But there is a liquor store, which is great. And there's a food section back there, so it gets the job done. But yeah, fireworks in Florida, baby. Well, we've been back from um, Target in our morning walk for a few hours. It is, I don't know, about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, 3.15. Uh, we took a little nap, relaxed. Amber made some pizza rolls in the air fryer, which were divine. And now we're up, and because Typhoon Lagoon is open until 6 o'clock, and we really have to go swimming at least once a weekend, we're going to go head over there, I think, spend some time in the wave pool and the Lazy River. So, um... Enough talk. Let's go ride some slides. Well, everybody is at the parking lot. Pretty good spot. There's the entrance, but we had to hunt for this. Um, as Adrian calls it, Renfest parking. That's right. There. Renf down. Hold on. Let me zoom in on it. Right down there. Up at the embankment. You just kind of see it like that white car up there. That's Renfest parking. That's in, You're in the grass if you're up there. And it's, that parking was still pretty busy. It's nuts. And it's like, what, 3... It's 340. Yeah. And, uh, the oh, look, this, look, and then look. <laughs> Mad Max here. <laughs> Wrong way, dude. <laughs> oh, no. But at 340, the park closes at 6. Usually, it's much more emptied out, so... Yeah. I don't think it'd be as dead as we were hoping for, but who cares? We're here to go in the wave pool. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's go. So, pretty busy. The pro tip, if you're a good swimmer, what Amber and I do is we come right out to where these people are in the deep water where most people are kind of afraid to go, but it is pretty darn easy to float. You're living under the trip water and we hang out here and it's kind of like having the place to yourself because the crowd's back there and you're right here. Well, we have to bid farewell at Typhoon Lagoon, but before we go, we wanted to get this. Look at Doug and his little balloons. He just met you and he loves you. Looks like a very nice pride piece of art. Oh yeah, duh, of course, it's Pride Month. <laughs> yeah, that's it's great. awesome. Happy Pride Month, everybody. You almost got... It's a beautiful sky in Orlando this evening. Um, the skies here are really pretty. In fact, I think they're, oh, here we look, and there's the, See you real soon. You have no idea, Disney. We say that every time. We'll be back probably, you know, tomorrow. Um, it was a magical day on property because look what we're leaving property with. We went over to this. This actually came from over by SeaWorld. We've had this before, I think, in one of our videos. Mellow Mushroom is our favorite pizza place. Uh, we found them in Texas, so they're at least in two states. But these are spectacular. So I think we're going to go home. I don't think I know. We are going home. We are eating this melon mushroom pizza and we are watching, uh, we're doing a rewatch of Breaking Bad. So I think we're on episode two of Breaking Bad and that's gonna be our lovely Sunday evening. Man, melon mushroom is the bomb and I forgot how good Breaking Bad is. That show is worth a rewatch. Um, they run episode four or five now and I just wanna keep on plowing through it. Um, guys, if you made it this far, thank you so much for, for joining us on our little adventure, our little weekend living next to Orlando and next to uh, Disney World. We enjoyed having you along. If you're new to the channel, please, please, please subscribe. We're trying to grow. We're trying to break out. Um, new channels really need your support, so please just hit that subscribe button. It'll take you two seconds. Um, share the video if you like the content. Um, give us a like. Uh, leave us some notes in the comments. Did you see the movie we saw this weekend? Let us know if you liked it. Uh, but of all else, subscribe. Um, and until next time, have fun storming the castle and stay magical.